Good afternoon, everyone. And as always, place your cross on first, no matter what's going on in your life. If you live for Christ, you know, seek them. <clears throat> I will be found of them that seek me. It's like people don't think, take that serious. But anyway, let me let me pray before I get started. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. But as I was saying, the Bible talks about being found by those who seek me. What's going on, Mike? <laughs> yeah, they ain't made it back yet. <laughs> Are you, you taking them home? Oh, you just riding through. I'm just riding through. <laughs> I feel you. All right, then, man. I'll see you in the morning. All right, then. But yeah, as I was saying, people, you know, think about it. He said, I'll be found of them that seek me, right? The more you seek God, the more you're going to find them. God will start surrounding you with people in your life that's going to line up with his purpose for your life. Is he going to start removing people? Who's not lining up with the purpose for your life? You gotta remember what you pray for. There's so many things you have to take in consideration when you're a child of the most high God. If people ain't for you, God get them time. The, the getting getting your life for a little while. Because you learn a discernment, you're learning all this stuff. You know, most people think as a Christian, you're just gonna be around people who are for you. No, you gotta learn discernment. You gotta learn all these things. And it takes time, you know, and it's going to be so much, so worth it in the long run if you stay at it. If you stay at it, people. You know, it's so many things that God has told me over the years that <laughs> I'm about to get teary-eyed. That has happened over the years. Let's, say, let's put it this way. I gave my life to God in about around 2010, 2009 time period. I was always raised in the church and I tell people this all the time, but, but that's when I officially invited the Holy Spirit in to my life and Jesus Christ and accepted him my Lord and Savior. And it's been so many things told to me over the years that didn't make sense when I was going through it, but it makes sense now. Like things that he told me years ago that making sense today. <laughs> You know, that's why the Bible talks about patience. Because you got to understand, when God is trying to line you up back to the right path that he meant for you, it's a lot of things that got to take place. A lot of things. You're going to meet some people. They're going to be seasonal. And you're going to meet some people. They're going to be longer than seasonal. But the thing is, it's going to be people coming in and out your life. And it's not going to make sense. But the thing is, as a Christian, you're going to realize why certain people come back into your life. Because you're growing spiritually. And you're going to realize why some people are getting pushed away from your life. Some people are getting pushed away because, according to your purpose, they don't line up with it. <laughs> that doesn't mean God is going to destroy every enemy you got. No. Because some of your enemies might turn to believers over time. That's why you say pray for your enemies. But as I was saying, when you seek God, you're going to start seeing him in everything. You're not going to be able to watch a TV. I was watching a, a t cartoon or a movie over the weekend, and it was just like, why is this cartoon talking about this? <laughs> an anime. You're like, why is it talking about such things like this? It sounded like it was quoting scripture. <laughs> you know, you'll start, you can watch a movie. You're like, what? Come on now. There's no way. No way. Weird, ain't it? Weird. Now, I'm, I'm going to tell you something. I was watching something over the weekend. Like, I don't know what happened, but I was watching something about uh, pearls. Now, I was on Facebook, and somebody had posted a, a picture about a pearl and how in order for a pearl to create a pearl, they got to go through some things. Like, it's, that, a pearl is like sand and clutter and trials and tribulations, and eventually it turns to a pearl. Now, that's the weird thing about it. So I just watched, I read that on Facebook, right? Then I'm watching a movie. And lo and behold, they're talking about the process of how a pearl is made. I'm like, what? What are the odds of that? Mm. That means, in order for that to line up, 
something had to line my thinking process up in order to see that right there. <laughs> you know, and God speaks in so many ways, people. Yes, you can hear from a pastor, but you can also hear from that person walking down the street. Now, when I left work today, me and a few of, few of my co-workers, we sitting there, we talking about certain things. One of my co-workers, he's going through some things with his family when his, his uh, kids are sick, having heart problems. And we're talking about, you know, hope and faith and, you know, the things that come with Christians. Right. And then a random stranger popped up. And he was like, man, I'm trying to sell something. Then he asked for a cigarette. I was like, well, I got a cigarette. And I gave it to him. And then he stood by and he was just listening. And he was like, hey, man, don't need to worry about that. God's got this situation. Like, what in the world? Well, stuff like that just don't happen until you step into the, your Christian faith. Like, I, if I was to tell you so many things that I've said that came to pass through the Holy Spirit, it'll blow your mind. Mm -hmm. To not just, to more of other people's life, speaking the truth into people's lives that happens. It's amazing. Now, as I was saying, you know why this is happening? Because you're seeking God. You're wanting answers. You're wanting confirmation. You're wanting comfort. And guess what? The devil can't talk to you in regards to that. Only godly people can. Does it make sense to you? So when you're seeking God, don't be shocked when godly people come in the play. And the thing is, they're not always going to be like somebody in the church. They're not going to step up in a suit and tie. It's going to be totally different from what you can ever imagine people but just know it's God and God said if God is for you who can be against you nobody can if God is for you God has a plan for your life man and I just I can see all the things that God has told me over the years playing out and it's like what and it's amazing <laughs> it's amazing you see that's why you really cannot tell somebody how God works they I can tell you all this but until you experience it and step into Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit and Jehovah and step into his word and step into his assignments that he has for your life man things you're gonna see things from a different light you know, you'll be surprised when people say they're saying, when one door closes, another, when one door shuts, another one opens. For a Christian, that means so much, so much. You know, when you think it's over, God's like, no, it's not. It's not over. I still got some things to do. And guess what? You part of the plan. And guess what? Every Christian, it's part of the plan, but you have to seek him. I'm telling you, man. It's just, I can't even put it in words. It's so amazing. It's so amazing. You know, and another thing I want to do before I get off here, I just want to thank everybody for your prayers. You just don't know <laughs> how much y'all prayers help. You understand? That's how I know a lot of y'all out there that watch these videos are really spiritually filled. Because I don't ask pl pl too many people to pray for me. I really don't. I'm just being real. I'm very cautious in regards to my prayer life. You know what I'm saying? But I know it's some of y'all out there that are praying and, and it's working. <laughs> and I thank y'all for that. I feel so much at peace that I ever felt in the last few years. It's, man, something major is about to happen. You know, but... Neither here nor there. But the way I reason I feel like this because I know I see God. And you probably feel the same way because you know what? You know you see God. That doesn't mean storms are not gonna come, trials ain't gonna get come, blessings are gonna it's a mixture of everything. Job's story tell you enough. Noah story tell you enough. Abraham's story tell you enough. It's so much, and nobody can know exactly what another person is going through. But like I was talking to my um, co-worker As we talked a little bit after one of the co-workers left And I was like, you know God never truly reveals everything to us In regards to our life Like all God told Abraham was I'm going to bless you Leave your household I'm going to make you a father of many nations He didn't tell you how he was going to do it <laughs> He didn't tell you how he was going to accomplish it 
And the same way with your life. He gonna tell you what he's gonna do. He gonna tell you how he's gonna do it. That's where the faith and the walking by faith, by not by sight, all that comes into play. Because you know it, but then you gotta understand in order to inherit the promises that God has for you, you gotta stay in line with him too. You can't just, what? Okay, I'm gonna start living back for the world. Now all the promises that he had for you start getting balled up and thrown into the trash until you jump back on the bandwagon. And the thing is, you don't know when you're going to die. I believe there's so many people in this world that have not reached the plans that God has had them because they fall away. It's like a video they post. It's like a little meme they put on Facebook. It shows two men. Two men are in underground with a pickaxe. And one of them, he right there and he gives up. He gives up right. It was this much of rock left to shatter it. And he stopped right there. And the other dude kept going. That's how it is with Christ. You never know unless you keep going. You can't keep giving up. Well, I guess God ain't here. Okay, you gave up. And don't get mad when you give up. And then some of the plans that God has for you, you watch play out in somebody else's life. You know how I many husbands and wives have separated and one husband or one wife was supposed to be the one? You ever saw that movie? Oh, uh, what is it? Atrimony or something with Tyler Perry or uh, whatever the name of it is. And Taraja P. Henderson was happy helping her husband out. Help him, help him out. And then she started feeding it to friends, feeding it to family members. And she divorced him. And he went back to somebody from the past and realized his dream. But she was meant to be in it. Now all she can do is get mad and watch somebody else live the plan that God had for them. And you know, you know so many people are gonna go that route. I don't know why I'm talking about this today, but I just got a feeling that's probably how it's gonna go in my life too. Mm. One thing I tell people all the time, together we strong. We can do a lot together and we love God. But the thing is, you can also be strong alone and continue the faith without nobody. I had posted something on Facebook the other day. I was like, it's okay to be alone humanly. But the thing is, you can never, you would never be alone with Jesus Christ. That's who you really need. And the thing is, you got to understand what that means. When you have Jesus, you may have your lonely period with human being, but God knows what you need. He'll bring certain people in, the, in your life to cure your loneliness. Not that you need them, but God just want to do the best for you. You understand human company is good. That's why he made a wife for man. <laughs> you understand? Does it make sense? But I ain't got too much of you people, but seek God and let him do what he's, he's planning to do for you. I ain't going to say supposed to. He's planning to do it anyway. It is done. Mm. You just got to stay at it. You ain't going to get to see it's done if you give up. And I, I've seen so many people give up. And the thing is, it teaches me not to. But you know what teaches me not to give up more than anything? My faith in God. And your faith in God. And your belief in God. And having the right people pray for you. Having the right people in your lives. Because I'm going to end with this. And I said this probably about four times already. Remember this, people. As you walk in your life. Misery loves company. It's a lot of people that hanging together and got many friends. You know why? Because they're miserable together. <laughs> if you haven't accepted Jesus Christ in your life, I advise you to do so. Step into your anointing and start the process. And after that, have a blessed life. But stay at it.